Hello and welcome to another one of DJDD videos. Today we're going to look at a couple basic examples and try to find the inverse and prove that they are indeed inverses. So the first one you can see is nothing special, it's just a linear function x plus 2 transformed up to units. Now if you remember all we got to do is in order to find the inverse is switch the x and the y and solve for y. So again, switch x and y in our equation and then solve for y. So let's see that in action. Shouldn't be anything too monumental here. We switch the x and the y. And now to solve for y, what do we have to do? Well, we got to get rid of this too. Well, how is it connected to the y? It's added. So what do we do? We do the opposite. To get it to the other side, we subtract it from both sides. And then when we subtract it from both sides, we end up with y equals x minus 2. So we can prove that this is indeed the inverse by doing a little composite functions. Remember everywhere you see an x plug in the other function. It doesn't matter which way we do it but we're trying to see it is if I plug this into here this whole function for x into there does it simplify into x or if I plug in this whole original function into the inverse for x does it simplify into the x. So the way I did it, this first problem was just doing the inverse as what I'm plugging in. So it's not hard to see that two, the twos will cancel and we get the desired x. All right, it's enough of that one. Let's see another problem. So there's our next problem, y equals x cubed plus 2. Again, the concept hasn't changed. We're going to switch the x and the y and solve for y. 2 connect to the y through addition, so we subtract it, pure coincidence that it's the 2 again. Um, and then at that point, we need to get rid of the cubed. How do we get rid of the cubed? What's the opposite of cubed? Well, that would be cube root, or raising it to the one-third power. Okay? And when you do so, the 3's cancel on the right-hand side, leaving you just a y. And then you get y equals the cube root of x minus 2. Again, we, need, we can prove that they're inverses of each other by doing the composite functions. It should simplify down to x. In this case, I'm not going to do it the way I did it before. I'm going to do the inverse on the outside and the original function on this side, but it should still simplify out to x. So the original function was x cubed plus 2. Everywhere I see an x in the inverse, I'm plugging in x cubed plus 2. If this is not making sense, go back and review composite functions and check out the videos and download the handout practice quizzes and all that good stuff okay so here you should be able to see just like before the twos would cancel and once they cancel we're left with the cube root of x cubed well that's just like writing x to the three over three the threes cancel leaving you x to the first which is what we desire okay so that indeed tells me that this is the inverse of that, all right? So if I were to graph this function, it would be the mirror image of this function across the line y equals x, if you remember that little detail from the concept video. All right, I hope this has opened the door for you to try some problems, enough for you to eliminate some of your doubts you might have had. The key is, as always, to practice as much as you can Thanks for watching. Check out the intermediate and advanced videos. Have a great day.